All right, I'm at 6514 Wind Path. It's uh, built in 2015. It's listed for $270,000. Gonna show you the street view here. Quiet neighborhood. It's uh, about 1.30 in the afternoon. It's a, it's a Adobe stucco style, not Adobe, stucco front. You see they've done some stucco repair work. Crack, uh, or fix the or crack in the stucco in the front of the house. Uh, all in, it looks pretty, pretty solid. They did some more stucco repair work right here in this area. It's not showing up the, the lighting on the camera. Uh, so they, they've addressed the, the issues that appears head on inside. Walk into the living room and dining combo. Pivot around. I'll zoom back into the kitchen here in a moment. Come back in, we have stone countertops with an undermount sink. Dark cabinets, it's got a good flow. Here we're gonna have the pantry. Oh, it's a coat closet. I've seen this house where this is the pantry. Uh, and you could use that as a pantry. Here, this is gonna be a half bathroom on my right. And walk out into the laundry room. On the, the big pantry here in the laundry room. So you have your washer dryer. Then pantry storage under the stairs and then two car garage let's turn on the light in here there we go uh, it'll fit two cars but it it feels narrow yeah. it is a tight two car garage oh and the doorknobs busted on the water heater so it's a big 50 gallon water heater Looks in good shape. Minus the broken doorknob. All right. House is 1,906 square feet. Carpets look original. The house is only six years old. So walk up and before I go in the room, I'm gonna show you this loft. And uh, the other floor plan that I've seen that was just like this one, they the owners before the clients that I had that would actually purchase the house had built a wall across this loft and had a door right here uh, and turned this into the fourth bedroom. Uh, it's really, really easy to do. Uh, I'd probably move that register over if you wanted to do it. Um, so you'd just have a little bit of sheetrock repair um, or just make it a tighter hallway and have it in there. Um, you'd have options. Walk into the master bedroom at the top of the stairs with the French doors. Little nook area. Show you the master bath. Here we have garden tub. And this it is only a tub, there's no shower. Because the shower is over here. Separate standalone shower. And then 
nice size walk-in closet. Rather spacious, lots of storage. So here we're gonna have a full bathroom. Single vanity. This is gonna be, it's a linen closet. There. Bedroom number two. Show you the air conditioner and furnace. Uh, these uh, big air filters are awesome. You only have to change them twice a year. A little more expensive, but you don't have to change them as frequently. They work really well. Some discoloring on the wall. Nothing a little paint can't hurt. You can tell they shampooed the carpets. Um, they look six years old. They don't, there's spots that don't look bad now, but you can tell once you start living in the house, they're gonna pop up and be the first visible stains. So I'll run back and show you the backyard and then head off to the next house. All right, <laughs> come back. It's flat for the first 10 yards, and then it starts down a slope. Kids playing with the ball, all the balls would roll down to the fence pretty quickly, I imagine. Um, however, you can still put a barbecue pit up here picnic table might feel a little funny if you were sitting on this side of it if just depending on how you set things might want to roll down it maybe off to this side you could put a little table that wouldn't be too bad it's gentle but i think you notice if you're sitting down uh i walked the perimeter of the house before i started the video the siding looks good you can see um the fascia bait board around the top uh, and on the side um, looks like it really needs caulked and painted uh, just to prevent any potential rot. I don't know how well it's going to show up in the video. Uh, I don't believe that the board is rotten, but I do believe if it's not addressed that you'd get there um, a lot quicker than you know a year or two it would need replaced and uh, i'm not an inspector or a carpenter for that matter but i i think you'd be fine sealing and painting that um the paint on the rest of the side looks good so i think just painting the top of it would be all all you need to do all right well this is uh wind path wind path